Hello friends, I am Saurabh. Let's have a look at another interesting problem today which is how to find first non-repeating character in a string. So the problem statement is given a string we have to find the first non-repeating character in that string. Let's take one example to understand the problem. Consider the following input string. We have to find the first non-repeating character in the string. If you observe the input string carefully you would notice that the characters K, L, Q, O, P and M are non-repeating characters in the string. Since character K is the first non-repeating character in the string, so expected output here is K. Now let's have a look at the algorithms to solve this problem. First we will have a look at the naive algorithm to solve this problem. Use two loops to check for every character whether it is a non-repeating character or not. Return the first such character found. Now let's move on to a better algorithm to solve this problem. These steps will be explained in detail with an example in subsequent slides. Do not worry if you do not get it right away. Okay? In this algorithm, we use a count array to store the count of every character in the input string. First we create a count array and initialize count of every element to 0. Then we traverse the string once and increment the count of every character found in the string. Then we traverse the string again and check for the first character for which the count is set as 1. Return this character. If not found, return null. The problem with this algorithm is, if the string is large, traversing the string again to find the first element whose count is 1 is inefficient. We will solve this problem later. First, let's visualize the algorithm through an example. Consider the following input string. Now let's create a count array and initialize count of each element to 0. Count array will be used to store count of every character in the string. Okay? Now we have a count array here. Please note that for simplicity, we have shown the count array to store count of characters A through Z only. Since input string has characters between A to Z. Okay? Now, next step is to traverse the string and increment the count of every character found in this string. Once this step is over, the count array would look like this. Okay? Now we will traverse the string again and will check for the first character for which count is set as 1. Okay? Let's start the iteration. Now for the first character, the count is 2, which means that this character has been seen 2 times in this string. Since we are looking for a character which occurs only once in the input string, let's move on to next character. Here count is 3 and we are looking for a character whose count is 1. So let's keep iterating until we find a character whose count is 1. So finally, while iterating over the string, we have found the first character which occurs only once in the input string. Hence, we have found our solution. In this algorithm, we iterated over the input string twice, once for populating count array and second time to find the first character whose count is 1. So if the input string is large, traversing string again to find first element whose count is 1 is inefficient. Now let's move on to next algorithm which eliminates this problem. We will explain these steps in subsequent slides. Do not worry if you do not get it right away. Here we use index array for storing the index of string elements which are characters. So first step is to create an index array and then we initialize the index of all index array elements to minus 1. Then we traverse the string once and for each element of the string we check the value of index of that string element in index array. If index is minus 1, it means that this is the first occurrence of current character in the string. So set index of current character in index array. Else it means that the current character has already been seen. So set index of current character to minus 2 to signify that this character occurs more than once in the string. Finally, traverse the index array once and find the minimum value in the array which is non-negative. Non-negative value signifies 
index of a character which occurs only once in the array and minimum value which is non negative signifies index of first character in the string which occurs only once in the array so if we are able to find the minimum value in the array which is non negative return the character in the string at this index else return null now let's visualize the algorithm through an example consider the following input string first step is to create an index array and initialize all elements of index array to minus 1 let's do that okay now next step is to traverse the string and for each character check the value of index of that character in the index array let's do that here for the current character value is minus 1 which means that this is the first occurrence of this character in the string so set index of current character in the index array let's move on to next character here also the value is minus 1 which means that this is the first occurrence of this character in this string so far so set index of current character in the index array which is 1 let's keep on doing this for subsequent characters now the value of current character a is not minus 1 it means that this character has already been seen so set index of current character to minus 2 to signify that this character occurs more than once in the string now keep on doing these operations on the remaining characters of the string once the iteration over the string is complete the index array would look like this now the final step is to find the minimum value in the index array which is non negative let's recall what that means non negative value signifies index of a character which only occurs once in the array and minimum value which is non negative signifies index of first character in the string which occurs only once in the array so to find the minimum value in the index array which is non negative we have to iterate over the index array while iterating you would find the highlighted elements as non negative which means these characters occur only once in the array here minimum value which is non negative is 9 so return character at ninth index in the input string which is k this is our solution please note that in this algorithm we did not iterate over the input string two times and hence for large strings this is better algorithm than the previously explained algorithm time complexity of this algorithm is order of n where n is number of elements in the input string and space complexity order of 1 have you checked our i deserve web portal at www.ideserve.co.in the algorithms are explained in visually appealing manner which helps in better visualization of the problem the website also has features like algorithm visualization and learn together do check it out and leave us a comment there as well we have also started taking in contribution from the community if you are interested in that please email us at ideserve.co.in@gmail.com please let us know your valuable suggestion on current topic if you liked our video please subscribe to our ideserve channel like the video and share it with your friends thank you